Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'm going to be taking a look at GNOME 42 apps on a Pine phone. Recently, the GNOME team released several mockups of their upcoming GNOME based mobile UI, and the mockups look very good. This got me excited to test out the GNOME 42 apps. The only downside is that I can't actually test on the upcoming GNOME UI because it's not quite ready for testing yet. But thankfully, I've still got the Pine phone with Fosh, which is also another GNOME based mobile UI. And I was able to test out these apps, take them out for a spin. So let's take a look. All right, so here we have the first app, which is the Contacts app. And it's a fairly simple app. You can click the hamburger line and then the one thing you'll notice throughout the video is that a lot of the apps, when you click the about, they'll open a window, but it opens as a separate like app almost. And it doesn't give you the option to close it. So you have to do a swipe up to close it. And here you have the calculator app. By default, it somehow starts up the keyboard, but you can quickly close it down. If you click the hamburger line, you can change some of the options. But otherwise, it's a fairly simple app. And pretty easy to use on mobile. Then you have the clocks app, which is a lot better designed for mobile, as you can see the bottom menu there. But once again, it suffers the same issue as the contacts app, which when you click the about loads this whole separate window. And then you have the fragments tool, which is a pretty simple, straightforward torrent downloader. You can click the plus sign and it loads this file manager, which actually appears to be quite resized for a mobile screen. And here we have the GNOME Software Center, one of the more important apps. And they've done a good job making this very mobile friendly. You can see you can switch between Explore, Installed and Updates by just tapping the bottom menu there. And if you flip it, it's probably not the best experience in landscape. Although when you switch it back, it seems to lag. But again, all these lagging issues are really just to do with the hardware rather than the apps themselves. Another important app here is the settings app. Settings app is pretty simple as well and doesn't really need a lot of modification to make it a good experience for a mobile device. Cool thing is you can go to the appearance and switch between light and dark mode and the GNOME 42 apps will actually adapt and change to the light mode. Here we have the about in the settings which is a lot more mobile friendly. Doesn't load a separate window or anything like that. Then we have the weather app which is a very nice looking weather app. It does have that bottom menu, so that's good. But I don't really like how you have to tap to the side to scroll through the timeline of the weather. But overall, it's a pretty decent app. Then we have the new GNOME text editor, which works okay, but it's not really mobile friendly because you actually have to flip it to landscape mode to load the hamburger menu. But once you do that, it works just as it does on the desktop. You can switch between light and dark in the app itself. And of course, if you close it, you'll get this option to discard, which is actually quite mobile friendly. And then you have a calendar. The calendar is not quite mobile friendly either, although recently they have been actually making some tweaks to it. And so I think pretty soon it'll be a lot more friendly for mobile devices. It's going to have an additional navigation pane on the left hand side which will be adapted for mobile devices. Then you have the GNOME app. This one's actually one of the few that is not a GTK4 app with lib 8 Weta, but it works quite similar to the apps. I just wanted to show it here just to just for reference. But otherwise, um, that's pretty much it. There's several other apps I could try, but I feel like I got the essential ones out of the way here. I think the current GNOME 42 apps are taking shape quite nicely on mobile and they're only going to get better as they become more adapted to mobile devices. But let me know your thoughts. Are you excited for these GNOME 42 apps? Would you use any of these apps as your daily driver? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. If you're enjoying my videos, you can support the channel on LibraPay or Patreon and check out some more videos on YouTube, Odyssey, or Peertube. And feel free to follow me on Mastodon or Twitter. See links in the description below.